Let's start with swimming. The absence of a coach for Jamaica's team to the upcoming FINA World Championships in Budapest, Hungary has once again raised questions about the operations of the Aquatic Sports Association of Jamaica, ASAJ. Jamaica's two swimmers will be without a coach in the European country for the June 17 to July 3 meet after Gillian Millwood declined an offer due to financial reasons. The Aquatic Sports Association of Jamaica, ASAJ, is once again having to grapple with criticism after Jamaica's swimmers were left without a coach for the upcoming FINA World Swimming Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Gillian Millwood was selected as coach, but declined that selection after learning she would have to pay upfront for her travel to the championships. She has subsequently expressed disappointment in the short notice she was given and recommended that the association select coaches at least six months in advance. I was advised that while there's a system of reimbursement, we can get the reimbursement even as we, as we return, as we land on the, on the plane. That reimbursement, for example, for the flight only, is around $1,800. Now, the time I was looking for the flight, which was up to last week, was $3,000. So even if I'd gone ahead and paid that money, I would have been out, what, $1,200 at least. ASAJ President Martin Lynn gave this explanation as to why that couldn't be done. People that have would have qualified is not known until very late in the day and therefore we don't know the size of the team, who is going and also if they are going to, whoever qualifies is going to want to carry his or her own coach. But Millwood says the association could still have put coaches on standby. But simply say, look, coach, you are the more qualified person now. We could send a coach who is familiar with the athletes, like, you know, maybe Keenan Doe's coach, but we're on a path where we want to send the local coaches. Please have a look out. As to the reason the ASAJ couldn't fit the bill for the coach? Unfortunately, the Federation is not in a position coming out of two years of, of no receipts and, and no funding and no sponsorship it's difficult for us to, to do this, considering that a lot of whatever we can sort of mindfully um, scrape up is used to, to keep the pool open by chemicals, by, I mean, pay for the actual upkeep and maintenance of the 50-meter pool. Only two swimmers, Keto Campbell and Keenan Dolls, will represent Jamaica at the championships, with diver Yonanite Wisdom being the other member of Jamaica's team. But Zanita Alvarango, who was qualified, had declined because of a clash with exams, and Kelsey Campbell also declined invitation, choosing instead to focus on the Commonwealth Games. Lynn says the ASAJ is in contact with regional counterparts to provide technical assistance to Jamaican athletes if necessary.